Member for Mayo. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Attorney General. A March 2019 poll by the Australia Institute found that 80% of Australians support the establishment of a Federal Integrity Commission to prevent, investigate, and expose corruption. 67% polled said they held a low to very low trust in politicians in our federal parliament. When will the government introduce legislation to create an integrity commission with real powers to reduce corruption and hopefully restore public trust in us in this chamber? The Attorney General has the call. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for Mayo for her question. And I am glad that I walked up and asked her, her who her second independent question was to, and when she said it was to me, that was very useful. Um, uh, the exact, the exact date is going, to, is going to depend on the stakeholder consultation that will happen between now leading up to December. Yes, indeed. It's always good to get a tip off, though. Um, and, and it is, it is the case that those surveys have been, have been published, and they do indicate that this is an area that requires significant work. Um, it's also the case, I think, that we must remember that Australia is consistently ranked by Transparency International as one of the least corrupt countries in the world. But we are, we are committed. We are absolutely committed. We are absolutely committed to a Commonwealth Integrity Commission. You will, of course, recall that on 13 December 2018, that the Prime Minister and I announced the establishment of a Commonwealth Integrity Commission. We released a very detailed public consultation paper with respect to the model that we've put forward. The model is uh, one in two parts, where the Law Enforcement Integrity Division will have the same functions and powers as the current Australian Commission for Law Enforcement Integrity, but with broader jurisdiction. The second and entirely new part of the organisation will be the Public Sector Integrity Division. That will investigate alleged criminal corruption involving the remainder of the public sector, including departments and their staff, parliamentarians and their staff. Uh, the staff of federal judicial officers and, in appropriate circumstances, recipients of Commonwealth funds. So it will have a very broad jurisdiction. Uh, it would not, of course, escape the members' notice that in the last budget, uh, the forward estimates now show $145.2 million committed to this body. That is $104.5 million of new funding and includes the existing Ackley budget of $40.7 million. I might, not, might note, uh, in evidence of the commitment of the government to this organisation that is funding well in excess of what members opposite had budgeted for their variant model of this, uh, of this body. Uh, during the consultation process that's happened so far, we've had 78 submissions, uh, and they were with respect to that very detailed draft discussion paper that we had out. The next part of this phase will be to take uh, basic drafting out and consult with a range of stakeholders and then, of course, Cabinet, but we're totally committed to this. This is something that as absolutely has to be got right. It is detailed, and the price of getting it wrong is to decrease uh, public confidence in all of us and our civil service, and we will not let that happen.